Hello, my name's Dr Gill. I've been um, asked to have a chat with you about your hands today. Um, before we start, can we please confirm your name and date of birth? It's Harvey Salvi, 2nd of January 2000. Super. So before we go on, could you tell me what's going on with your hands? So I've been experiencing sort of tingling and sort of pins and needles in my hand, and I get pain quite a lot as well. Okay. And are you right or left-handed? I'm right-handed. Okay. And does it affect one or both hands? Both. Okay. So, um, as has been mentioned um, to me before I came in, it does sound like this could be carpal tunnel syndrome. So, would you mind if we did an assessment of your hands? Yes, I Super. So, that's going to involve having a look at your hands, getting uh, you to do some movements, and then we're going to press around your hands and see what the sensation's like. Is that okay? Yep. Super. So, I'm just going to take this pillow, and if you could put your hands palm up to start off with, please. So, just having a look to see what we can see. can't see any obvious issues, so that's good. If you could turn your hands over for me, please. Checking over the MCPs um, and the PIPs and DIPs, I can't see any evidence of swelling that might associate with rheumatoid arthritis. I can't see any changes to uh, the skin. If you could turn backwards for me. So I'm just going to press over your hands, if that's okay. So just pressing over the muscles to see how things feel there. And pressing over some of the bones. Okay. Do the same again. I'm just feeling along the hand, make sure there's nothing else there. Just going to squeeze slightly. Any problems when I do that? A little bit. Okay. So um, we're now just going to um, get you to do some movements, if that's okay. So if you can put your thumbs upwards for me and keep them in this position, okay? Don't let me move them. Okay, so slightly weak on one side compared to the other. Okay. And if you could take your thing, uh, thumb and put it to your uh, ring finger, please. Okay. Now don't let me move your hands through. Okay, so you've got good uh, strength with that. So if you could undo your button and redo it for me, please. Okay, and then close it again. And have you noticed any problems picking things up, doing buttons, etc.? Um, no, not really. Okay, thank you. So if you could put your hands again flat. So I'm going to take this uh, neurofilament and I'm going to touch around your hands when your eyes are closed. And I want to say yes if you can feel it. Okay, so to start off, um, I'm just going to touch here. So can you feel that? Mm -hmm. And can you feel that? Yeah. Super. So if you close your eyes for me and say yes if you feel me touching. Yeah. Okay, so your sensation is intact, that's good. Um, we're going to do um, some additional tests now. These might be uncomfortable. So I'm going to take the tendon hammer and I'm going to tap over the bases of your hand. And we're going to do that for over about 30 seconds. Okay, and we're going to see if you get any of those sensations. Okay, so please tell me to stop if it becomes painful. Any problems with that? No. So no pins and needles there? Slightly. Okay, whereabouts were you getting those pins and needles? Right here, just flowing up. Okay. And did it affect your little finger as well? No. Okay. We're going to do the same again on this hat. So again, tell me to stop if it becomes painful. Any problems with that? No. Okay, did you get any pins and needles as you did with the other hand? No. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do, I'm going to get you to put your hands up with your wrists down um, and with your part, uh, the, the back of your hands together. Okay, so I now need to stay here for at least 60 seconds. 
If you get any changes of sensation to your hands, please tell me. Okay. And did you notice any changes to your sensation there? No. Okay, so no pins and needles, any pain or numbness? No. Okay, so if you put your hands back on the side here for me. So now I'm going to press directly over the carpal tunnel. Okay, this will be uncomfortable. Okay, if it becomes too painful, please tell me to stop. I'm going to press down with quite a bit of force. I'm going to do that for 30 seconds. Any changes when we did that? Slight pins and needles, yeah. Okay. Nothing, anything to your little finger? No. Good. Okay, we're going to do the same again over here. So you're going to press down quite hard. Okay, any changes as we did that? No. Okay, so from what, certainly what we're seeing on uh, your right hand, we do have features that could be in keeping with carpal tunnel. So what we can look at doing with regard to that, um, do you have any problems taking anti-inflammatories? No. So we can certainly start off with some of those. However, they're probably not going to have a huge impact on this. Um, the other thing we can look at is, because as you said, it's slightly worse at night, giving you a night splint to hold your wrist so that uh, you're not getting a stretch over the tissue there. But because of what um, you've said and um, uh, the signs that we've found today, we will do a referral to the orthopaedic team who can look at doing an operation to release that carpal tunnel and hopefully reduce the uh, problems that you're getting. Do you have any other questions for me about this? No. Super. Well, thank you very much for your time. Thank okay. you.